a little late October's solar and usage update. Here's our setup that we have at home along with our infrared heating system um, as shown here. We had a home usage of 1,084.9 kilowatt hours, which is an average of 35 kilowatt hours. And you can see by the gray in these in this bar chart that we're really pulling from the grid now. We had a solar contribution contribution of 484.6 kilowatt hours, which was an average of 15.6 kilowatt hours and a high of 29.4 kilowatt hours and a low of 2.4 kilowatt hours and um, we've got 388.7 kilowatt hours from the tesla power wall and we pulled 635.7 kilowatt hours from the grid which is an average of 20.5 kilowatt hours we were 62 percent self-powered for october um 26 percent of that came from the solar and 32 percent came from the tesla power wall which was mostly um charged up from off-peak electricity our solar offset so we produced 44 percent of our total home usage from solar and the 388.2 kilowatt hours of off-peak energy which most of it came from the grid and out of the 698.3 kilowatt hours of peak energy only eight percent of it came from the peak period we still managed to put 75 kilowatt hours of excess solar into the hot water but we didn't get anything extra into the car charging our original three kilowatt peak um, inverter produced 223.9 kilowatt hours our newer three kilowatt peak inverter which is the lower panels on the roof produced 202.6 kilowatt hours so shadows are beginning to show a little bit more now and our latest 1.2 kilowatt peak inverter produced 58.1 kilowatt hours so that's a total of 484.6 kilowatt hours from the inverters um, in october moving on to some of the running totals um, we did 273 miles in the MG5 and 246 miles in the e-golf totaling 519 miles for the month um, and we had a cost of 13 pounds and 32 pence and that was 177.7 kilowatt hours as seen in the purple highlighted columns in the graph moving on to our average cost per kilowatt hour through october um, we had an average of nine pence per kilowatt hour for everything that we drew from the grid excluding solar and when you include the solar generation that brought the average cost per kilowatt hour to 5.2 pence per kilowatt hour and our yearly averages are now um, 3.6 pence per kilowatt hour including what we generated from the solar and when we take a look at where all the 1,081 kilowatt hours went, we'll start at the top and move clockwise. We put 177 kilowatt hours into the car charging, or 17%, and that was um, an actual cost of £13.27. Our heating is now 10% of our um, energy usage at 102.8 kilowatt hours and that equals three pounds 70 pence our dehumidifier used 44.3 percent or four sorry 44.3 kilowatt hours or four percent of our energy usage cooking took six percent or 62.26 kilowatt hours at a cost of two pounds and 24 pence um, washing so washing and drying used four percent 45.7 kilowatt hours at a cost of one pound and 64. the fridge freezer used 33.8 kilowatt hours or three percent at a cost of one pound and 21 pence the hot water used 20 percent at 210 kilowatt hours or seven pounds and 56 pence we did give away four percent to grid export and our general home usage was 322.1 kilowatt hours or 31 percent 
at a cost of £11.59. Our running totals up until the end of October of 2022. We have now been grid free for 130 days. We've done 7,255 miles at a cost of £69.44. We've imported 6,491 kilowatt hours and we've had a solar contribution of 8,349.5 kilowatt hours. So that's a total kilowatt hours for electricity of 14.840 megawatt hours. So that's at a cost of £616.48. We had a gas cost before we had it cut off in March of £21.96. So that gives a total utility bill of £638.44 since the start of 2022. We've had three FIT payments totaling £1,969.81. So we are, we are in credit um, since the start of 2022 by £1,330.37 and that includes the VAT and daily charges. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe and if you've got any questions or comments please add it to the section below. I'll leave you with the daily usage of the Tesla app so you can see what happens on a day by day basis.